testing the API access control desktop API in Skype version 6.14 and uh, it still works. I just made sure it works. And let's see. Okay, here we go. Tools, options, advanced. Manage other programs access. And it works. I also sent messages to um, a list of non contacts using XSky. So it still works. However, I'm concerned about this blog post. Let's see if it will let me. We know that they intended to retire the desktop API for Skype back in December um, of 2013. And the thing that concerns me now is that they are now saying that uh, we're focusing our efforts on bringing the latest and greatest to the most recent version. As a result, we are going to retire old versions of Skype from desktop 6.13 and below, as well as Skype for Mac 6.14 and below over the next few months. This was June 20th, 2014. And um, there's the benefits of moving to the cloud and away from P2P, those three bullet points here. Uh, but what I'm concerned about is that we won't be able to use the still in existence desktop API um, for this is 6.16 and the desktop API is still here like I just showed. Let's see if I have it. Ta -da! Desktop API is still here. So um, I don't know what's going to happen if they're actually going to <coughs> stop allowing us to use desktop APIs um, as they've been talking about, but uh, my solution was that we can always use older versions. You can see I've got <coughs> desktop shortcuts all the way back to 3.8, 5.3, 6.0, and 6.1, and I've been testing every version since, and they all seem to have the desktop API still, but will older versions even still work? <laughs> um, this could kind of mess things up for um, a lot of people that use the desktop API tools like Pamela, Mood Editors, um, Message Magic doesn't seem to be wanting to work anymore, but XSky works, Seek and Send works. Um, I'm also concerned that I saw a report of the desktop of the Skype kit it's not working anymore. Let me find that. I was planning on also if Skype desktop API tool stopped working indeed along with older versions of Skype we could at least use Skype kit developed tools even though we knew they weren't going to continue supporting it. Well uh, Dan York here Here's Dan. Um, on July 1st posted this Skype shuts down Skype kit and the Skype developer website. Goodbye to Skype kit and the developer's website. Um, as a Skype kit licensee, um, he received this email about Skype kit license termination. Um, there is one bit of hope <laughs> um, for uh, Skype kit and I'll see if I can find it here for you. Upon termination of the agreement, which is at the end of this month, July 31st, 2014, uh, the agreement 
you must promptly destroy, upon termination of the agreement, you must promptly destroy all copies of the Skype kit in your possession or control, except that if you have already entered into the Skype kit distribution terms and received a co commercialization key pair for your Skype kit product, then you may continue to distribute these Skype kit products. So hopefully the tools that I know and love developed on Skype kit, namely Skysponder and uh, too bad Clownfish extension seems to not be <laughs> One of them, he just emailed me saying that he'll uh, he'll not be able to use Skype Kit for Clownfish anymore. Um, but we hope that that Skysponder will continue to be possible to use, and possibly also Sniper, which I know is a little clunky. But then we lived with the clunky interface of Message Magic for many years. Um, so this we knew, Skype will not be issuing any more key pairs, meaning you can't get any more licenses for Skype kit. So these last tools hopefully do have this commercialization key pair and will be allowed to distribute their products. Um, this is what I'm hoping. I'll make sure to send this to Richard, <laughs> of uh, owner of, of Skysponder. Um, in addition, let's see, hard, uh, for hardware, we know that there's a Skype kits. Um, the Skype kit was used to develop Skype for television. So all of the television companies use Skype kit to have Skype there. So hopefully that will continue to work. Key pairs may only be used for the specific versions of the Skype kit of the Skype kit product that was certified through our hardware certification program. Our hardware certification program for Skype kit products has now closed and no new hardware, including new models or versions of previously certified hardware, can be distributed. Key investments in Skype's application and services and service architecture may cause the Skype feature to stop working without notice in Skype kit products. As a result, we encourage you to end any further distribution of Skype kit products. We would also like to draw to your attention to the obligation that serves. Okay, anyway. So I can send anybody this uh, article if they need it. That's the email that uh, Dan got as a Skype kit licensee. You can pause the video and read this whole thing. I think I'm doing it slow enough. Rest in peace, Skype kit. Rest in peace, Skype developer program. So yeah, Microsoft's doing a lot of changes with Skype, and we don't really know if we're going to be able to use Skype. Um, again, one of my biggest concerns is, uh, and I've added this as a comment here, that we won't be able to even moderate our Skype rooms unless we have older versions. Some of us still need to continue the older versions of Skype. One glaring example is Skype room group chat moderation which is not fully functional above version 6.0 specifically oops, 6.0 6.3 and above does not allow group chat creators and moderators with master role to edit or remove messages of members or kick or ban members. Take that as question number two though. Okay, so let me... I did... Let's see... Repeat this. as they didn't reply to my post. They've been good at replying to everyone else's post. Question number one, can we... Hello. Question number one, can we still use older versions of Skype in any operating system environment, such as Windows 7 or older? And question number two, 
Will the edit and remove message or kick or ban commands become functional again for group chat room creators and moderators? Master Roll. So let's see. Hopefully they will respond. Um, I would appreciate support with that if you want to add your comments to this blog post. blogs.skype.com 2004 06 20 making way for the next generation of Skype on desktop thanks for watching see you on Skype